Hi everybody, Brian Colley here for EV Universe, and we're out on the lake. We're not in a car, and I'm with John Conrad with Elk Rapids Marina. He's a sales manager, and he's taking us for a ride. Yep. Riding on the Elix 8000. It's an X Shore 100% uh, electric boat. Uh, it's a 26 foot uh, long center console style boat. A lot of modular aspects to it. Uh, bottom line though is it's a you know over a 30 mile an hour uh, boat with uh, over 100 mile nautical range at about 11 knots. Wow, that's yeah. a good range. Yeah, so it all depends on it's like anything else, depending upon how fast you go, yep. it will affect the range. Uh, but it's a high performance boat, essentially. You know, I mean, it has great acceleration, a ton of torque. At its peak torque, it produces almost 700 horsepower. Wow, 700 horsepower in a boat. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And uh, we're driving right now, it's super quiet. <laughs> it's whisper quiet, you can hear nothing. It's I'm like sailing. Right, exactly. Um, is it a is stern drive, an IO? What kind, what kind of propulsion does it have? Yeah, exactly. So it's a direct drive, full inboard. So okay. it has an electric motor that's driven by two 60 kilowatt batteries. And uh, so everything is hidden in the floor. So you don't have a big engine box. You don't have a large gas tank. You don't have, you know, big holding tanks or anything like that. So it's it's very clean. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. As you guys have seen some of our videos, you know, the frunks on the electric vehicles because there's no engine. Same thing on this boat. There's there's a massive amount of storage. I was noticing immediately there was no big engine compartment taking up half the boat. I was really impressed. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a ton of storage. I mean, there's a ton of space. It just creates a lot of efficiencies. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, talk to us about, you know, charging on the boat is, you know, obviously when you take it to the marina, you can charge it, but kind of what, what, what are the charging options for this boat? Sure. So uh, basically, you know, you're really looking at like a DC, uh, AC style charging. So you can plug it right into like a 50 amp, you know, AC uh, station right at your typical marina. In a situation like that, you're looking at probably, you know, eight to 10 hour ch uh, charge time, That's not bad. you know, so overnight. And that would give you about, a, you know, a four to five, six hour you know, uh, range, yeah. you know, time, typical boat, you know, you know, boat ride type of stuff. Uh, and then we're actually installing a series of high speed charging DC, uh, speed, uh, charging stations through aqua Superpower. Okay. And, uh, those will increase, uh, the efficiency. So, uh, your, uh, your charge time would be reduced to about 45 minutes wow. to an hour. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Under an hour. So, I mean, eight hours of charging, you get four or six hours of boat time. That's a lot of driving on a boat. A hundred miles is a yeah. lot of driving on a boat. I mean, this is a very practical situation we're talking about. This isn't, it's going to be, you know, two or three days charge. We're talking and plug it in at night, you come in the morning and, and you're good to go. So Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, we find most boaters go out and they start, they stop. They might go tubing, you know, go for a cruise. And then a lot of times they're just out, you know, at a relaxing pace. So to be out on the water for more than four to six hours for a typical day boater is, is quite unusual. So we've we found that, you know, this power, you know, uh, works very well. Yeah, I would agree. Absolutely. Um, so talk to us specifically about this boat. Uh, where is it made and kind of how did you guys get into this? Yeah, so uh, this boat was manufactured in Stockholm, Sweden. We are the Great Lakes dealer for uh, Xshore. And uh, so we found it and we, we reached out to them. And, you know, it's just through the supply chain challenges, we've been kind of directed us towards this unique style of, of boats in a sense that uh, you know, we're bringing in some some really different things that it's coming. I mean, the electric's coming, and uh, we wanted to be a part of it. That's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try out electric boating because on my boat, I'm spending literally thousands of dollars a year in gas. Literally thousands of dollars a year in gas. So um, It doesn't take much. No, not at all. It doesn't take much. Not at all. Well, and obviously all the marina slips already have, you know, overnight power. So there's not a lot of, you know, entry barriers to entry into this. If you have a slip in the marina... And then you guys talked about if you don't have a slip, the DC fast charging, 45 minutes, that's not bad. That's not bad. 
No, it's not bad at all. I mean, most marinas do have some type of 220, you know, accessibility. And then for folks that, you know, have uh, on water, you know, if they live, you know, waterfront property, um, you know, we're working with local contractors to install, you know, um, you know, large amped, you know, safe uh, charging options to, you know, so they can charge right at their dock. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, John, I have literally in my life towed down five, ten gallons of gas and put it in my boat for years when I was living on a smaller inland lake that didn't have access to a marina. Sure. Talk to us about what, what would electric boat ownership mean for that? Yeah, no, I mean, I tell you, that's really amazing. If you live on a lake that, you know, didn't have a, uh, you know, gas, you know, on water option, you know, that really restricts you to having to carry, you know, like you said, five gallon jugs of gas. That's an environmental challenge, yeah. really, because, you know, generally people spill a bunch of fuel in the lake when they're trying to, uh, yeah, I mean, it just, it's kind of, a, you know, a nature of the beast. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you can plug it right in and hardwire it and have it, you know, sitting right on your dock ready to go. That sounds amazing. Just walking down and plugging in versus towing five, 10 gallons down, picking it up, trying not to spill it. Slipping into the lake, I've literally fallen in the lake with a gas can. All of sure. these adventures, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean the bottom line is, you know, it's proper when it's properly engineered, it's extremely safe yep. and extremely simple. Yep, that makes sense. Thank you for watching. We're always adding new content to the channel, so please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming insights into the EV universe.